overall complete weakness is what we witnessed in today's session there was high amount of volatility as well and this was mainly on the back of expiry day as well as weakness in the global markets you have sensex which tumbled in today's session by almost around 770 points and we ended at levels of around 60200 whereas nifty ended slightly above the 17900 mark though with cuts of almost 200 points coming in there broader markets were also under pressure but they underperform benchmark indices marginally and overall if you see in terms of the market breadth that was clearly in favor of favor of the bears in terms of sectoral performance it is the psu bank index that was the worst performing index and the sector and with that you had the bank nifty as well which underperformed benchmark indices in trade today in terms of the best performers you had the auto sector which was the best performing sector however it ended in the negative Clearly, there was support coming in from stocks like a TVS Motors and a Maruti Suzuki uh, with regards to the auto space. In terms of stocks in focus, as we mentioned, Maruti was the top gainer uh, in terms of Nifty 50 and this was mainly on the back of strong earnings as well as majority of the brokerages have gone ahead and upgraded the target price on the counter. HUL and Hindalco were the other top gainers in terms of Nifty 50, whereas Adani Ports was the top loser followed by an Indescent Bank and an SBI, which were the other losers. Moving in terms to stocks that were in news today, South Indian Bank overall, the profits missed estimates and that's what kept the stock under pressure. SBI cards as well was under pressure as the net income actually missed street estimates. TVS Motors was an interesting one on the back of a strong set of numbers and good commentary coming in from the management. Uh, the stock has risen the most in 18 weeks and if you see the call options on the counter, they also tripled. Zomato, that stock was down almost the highest in the last six months and the trading volumes on Zomato also tripled. Granules India as well as United Spirits, three counters, the net, both the counters, actually the net income missed estimates and that's what kept both these stocks under check. So overall, a lot of movers and shakers in trade today uh, muted and you know, uh, uh, literally a day of trade uh, where we've seen a lot of weakness that has come in mainly on the back of FNO expiry as well as uh, global queues.